The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, Take care not to perform righteous deeds in order that people may see them. Otherwise, you will have no recompense from your heavenly Father. When you give alms, do not blow a trumpet before you, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, to win the praise of others. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you give alms, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing so that your almsgiving may be secret, and your Father who sees in secret will repay you. When you pray, do not be like the hypocrites who love to stand and pray in the synagogues and on street corners, so that others may see them. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you pray, go into your inner room, close the door, and pray to your Father in secret, and your Father who sees in secret will repay you. When you fast, do not look gloomy like the hypocrites. They neglect their appearance so that they may appear to others to be fasting. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you fast, anoint your head and wash your face so that you may not appear to be fasting, except to your Father who is hidden. And your Father who sees what is hidden will repay you. The Gospel of the Lord. Today, in receiving our ashes, we begin our penitential season. And ashes were a way for the Jews to represent the fact that they were in a time of penance, which is what we as Catholics are entering into. But we can't think that just getting ashes is enough to save us, unless it's a part of something deeper. In fact, getting ashes can be dangerous, because Christ talks about those who have outward shows of their spiritual life, while inside there's not much going on. So, in fact, if we only receive ashes and we don't actually make it mean something, this Lent, we're going directly against what Jesus taught. So what does that mean for us at Lent? It means that we have to make sure that our ashes are an outward sign of an inward reality, something that's going on in our soul, that these 40 days aren't going to be spent like any other 40 days in our life, but truly be spent in the desert with Christ who went off to receive the Holy Spirit. And we have to receive that same Spirit through our acts of prayer and penance and almsgiving in the next 40 days. Now it's very popular in Lent to give something up. That's sort of the question everyone asks around Lent is, what are you giving up? And that's a great thing to do. But it can't just be an action in and of itself. We have to truly look at the things that get in the way of our relationship with God and find a way to break those things down so that at the end of 40 days, we truly know the risen Lord, that we would recognize him, that we know that he has truly come to save us from our sins. So what are the things that get between us and God? It could be a repeated sin, something that we just can't get out of. And this is a time to step away from that. And to not only lose the sin, but even our attachment to that sin. Perhaps it's a time waster. Something that we do that takes our time away from our family and from God. Perhaps it's our cell phone. and The many things that that can distract us with. Perhaps it's the computer. Television. Video games. Or just being by ourselves when we should be reaching out to others. 
whatever it is, we all have something, and we can all think about what it is, and we have to step away from that and give that thing up. Perhaps it's overindulgence in food or drink, overindulgence in self-pity, and overindulgence in feelings of resentment and lack of forgiveness. These are all things that we bring to our time of prayer, and we separate ourselves from it during this Lenten season, day by day, so that we actually are a new creation when we come to the resurrection. That just as Christ appeared again in his glorified body, so too each of us reappear having come closer to the ideal that is the life of Christ. So when we come up to receive ashes today, it shouldn't be, and it mustn't be, simply an action that we do 40 days before Easter. It has to be a real change in our lives so that no matter where we are in the spiritual life, no matter how close or far away we feel from Christ and his church, at the end of it, we find a way to be even closer. And if our ashes are an outward sign of an inward changing of heart, then we can look back on these 40 days and know that we truly spent that time with Christ in the desert and that we came out And the resurrection at Easter will this year be something truly worth celebrating.